Yep. Hey folks, welcome to Triton High School. My name is Tim Harris. I'm part of the Triton Softball Boosters team. We got a big heavyweight match here between North Redden and Triton. Both teams have one loss in the Cape Ann Kinney Division. So this is a big game, although North Redding was able to beat Triton earlier this year. So we're the we're in the top of the first, and the leadoff hitter gets a base hit for North Reading. Nice solid shot up the middle. Pitching for uh, Triton today is Emma Pennington. Pen Pennington. She's a uh, freshman. Throw strikes. Got great movement on her pitches. And behind the plate is Haley Harris. We'll go through the other positions after this batter, which is the second batter for North Reading. Again, we're in the top of the first ground ball to Grace Romine. Makes a nice play to first. Running right at her. Double play. That's a great play. What we liked about that one is Skylar Colburn playing first base. Went right at the runner. Froze the runner. Made her make a decision whether to go back to second or third. She chose third. Skylar made a great throw to Grace Romine who put the tag on. Great double play. Two outs. And now we've got their uh, third hitter. Who's hitting third for North Reading, number 23? I'm sorry? Vitozzi. Vitozzi batting uh, three, number three position for North Reading. Again, top of the first, there's a ground ball, and that's going to find its way for a base hit up the middle. Found the hole. So two outs, again, top of the first. North Reading with their... Second hit of the game, although that will just kind of uh, find a hole and up the middle. So one one on, two outs. This is their cleanup hitter. Is this number two, Galvin? This is Ostrowski. Ostrowski, okay. Ostrowski batting fourth for the uh, North Reading team. And there's a pop fly, and that's going to find another base hit, but that was uh, right on the edge of the infield. Tough luck for Triton as that ball just got over the head of uh, Kyler Story, who second year freshman, all conference last year at shortstop. Nothing she could do on that. So we got two on, two out, and North Reading batter up. Takes a nice cut. And who's batting? Who's number nine for North Reading? We got O'Reilly batting now for uh, North Reading. I don't have any of their stats, but I'll have no, the Triton stats when they come to bat. Quickly at second base is Maddie Jakes. There's a swing and a miss. Emma's got great movement on her pitches, just natural movement. She's a righty, uh, throws strikes for the most part. We have two outs, and that's it. Goes down swinging. So nice inning for the first uh, first half. North Reading zero, Triton come up, coming up to bat. We'll take a quick break. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm teasing you. But it was Kai. Oh, okay. So just to clarify on that uh, double play. Oh, still live? It doesn't yeah. pause? We're live here. Just getting a little help from uh, my friends in the, uh, in the stands here. If you want to. The actual tag was made by Ky Kyla Story, who was. Um, Grace made the throw. And it was already on third base, ready for that. Uh, Double play. So, just wanted to clarify that was uh, Kyla's story. We made the uh, play. So, Triton coming up to bat. A lot of great numbers on the Triton lineup. Uh, a lot of girls sitting over 400. And uh, but this would be a good test. The pitcher for North Reading is one of the top pitchers in the league. Um. Trying to get the name of her. Hannon. Hannon's on the mound. I don't have her first name, but um, 
She throws probably in the uh, mid-50s. And uh, leading off, we have Maddie Jakes. Takes a ball. Oh, it takes a strike. So Maddie's uh, batting at 281. Uh, leaves the team and walks, 14. Got a great eye at the plate. So, And she is uh, our lone senior at Triton this year. She's played a solid second base this year. Makes all the routine plays and then some others. So it's a uh, very impressive year for her as a senior. Fouls that one back. Got a beautiful day today for softball. Seems like every game this year has been low mid-50s with the wind blowing in. But today, just the opposite. Wind's blowing out. Upper 70s. Perfect weather. And she fouls that off. And that just missed the car. That had the door open. That could hit the driver in the face, but uh, <laughs> luckily it didn't. All right, she's got two strikes on her. Again, 0-0. Zero, zero. Another foul ball. Hey, keep that one, my bud. On deck is Izzy Aldani. We're in the bottom of the first. Got two strikes. That one's low. Tough to see the actual uh, pitch. Just uh, right in front of the umpire. Right behind the umpire, actually. So could be two and two or three and two. We'll see. And there's a pop, pop up and just out of play. Maddie's battling with two strikes. And low pitch there, just missed, but great eye by Maddie Jakes. That's why she gets a lot of walks. We got a full count here. Again, no outs. Lead off batter. Fouls it off. Type of game where you want to make the pitcher work. First, first game, really, that's been in the upper 70s, so. She may not quite be ready for the heat later on in the game. Oh, rips it foul. Just missed. Out in front. So, the Triton, uh, what's interesting, they've, uh, the last game, they played Ipswich. They beat them handily, 13-2. The pitcher was quite slow. So, some of the good hitters were out in front and had a tough time hitting. And this ball four, and she's on the base. A lot of our Triton hitters do very well against pitchers that throw with some speed, so this could be a good day for their bats. We'll see. Now batting is Izzy Aldani. Izzy is hitting 391, and uh, 13 runs batted in. And there's a wild pitch, and Matty Jakes goes into scoring position at second base. Izzy leads the team and runs with 22. She's also got uh, a home run and uh, a couple of triples, 13 runs batted in, so a solid season for the junior who plays center field for uh, Triton. Heading the count, 1-0. Oh. So what we want to do, make this pitcher work. Good hitters count now, 2-0. On deck, we have Kyla Story. And there's a strike. This pitcher throws well. She's got good movement on her pitches. She's a righty pitcher. And there's a solid hit into right center. And that's going to score a run. Yes, it is. Here she comes. Coming around. Close the play, and she's safe. So solid hit by Izzy Aldani to right center. Maddie Jakes running hard. Trent goes up, one nothing. Solid single. Now we've got Kyle Story, who's hitting 471. 
16 runs batted in, tied for the team lead. Five triples, home run, four doubles, nine stolen bases, big stats all around. Loves fast pitching. And here she comes. So Kyla is the shortstop. Great back control, hits the all fields with power. Fastball snuck that one on the inside on her. Still, she's got a lot of two strike hits too, so knows how to battle. Again, Izzy Aldani on first base with that line shot in the right center. And that's, that's a base hit. Just over the shortstop. We, that's on there. Almost sounded like the, the bat was either broken or the ball. Something just didn't sound right, but with her strength, she got it over, uh, over the shortstop. So now we've got uh, Mallory Johnson, who's our team leader in hitting, with uh, a hitting 499, just clip under 500. Uh, 15 runs batted in, 27 hits, three triples, a home run. Again, a lot of power in this lineup here for Triton. Takes a strike on that one. Uh, inside fastball. Kind of tied her up on her swing. Good eye. So we got runners on first and second. And no outs. No outs right now. So the first game was uh, Triton versus North Reading early in the season, cold weather, temperature probably maybe 50, windy day, just not good pitchers, pitchers weather. And uh, the same pitcher here for North Reading kind of shut down the bats for Triton early. And uh, our Triton team had a tough couple of innings where walks and a couple errors. So er again, early in the season, but here we go. And there's a loose ball, and that uh, brings two runners in the scoring position. So we're on the wild pitch. Catcher just couldn't find the ball. Here we go. Second and third. Got a full count. Full count for Mallory Johnson. And there's a foul ball. Better call. That could go. That's going to leave a mark. There you go, yeah. And for those at home, you never park near the uh, <laughs> backstop. Mallet, there's another one. Almost hit the coach's truck, but for some reason, his truck is immune to foul balls. He always parks there, never gets hit. But uh, here we go. Two on, second and third, no outs. One nothing, Triton, bottom of the first. And there's a shot by Mallory. Is the wind going to help her? It's going to be a tough one. Strong throw by the uh, center fielder. That uh, you thought the runner at third might tag up, but probably good that she didn't because that there's only uh, only one out now, and we still have two good power hitters coming up. Smart base running. Let's go. Smart base running. Come on, now batting is Emma Penniman who leads the team as a freshman with home runs. She's got three home runs. And she is hitting 279. Been coming on strong lately. Gets tied up with another inside fastball. On deck is Haley Harris. Again, Emma is a freshman. Lots of runs about in. She's got 15. Tied for second on the team with Mallory Johnson. Again, one out, runners at the second and third. And she goes down to swing on some good pitches. That brings us up to Haley Harris. Haley having a solid year. She's hitting 411, leads tied with the uh, team lead and runs back in with 16. And uh, comes with two out, runners at second and third. Goes after a fastball, a little up. 
Couldn't catch up to it. Again, two outs. And that's going to slice in. Oh, just slices, just foul. Almost would have scored two. Two strikes. This is the time we got to watch for the changeup. High fastball. Good waist. Haley, a very good hitter with two strikes as well. It's got to produce here, though. We got runners at second and third. This would be a big hit if we can get these two across the plate. Again, bottom, bottom first. And got her swinging. So we lead two. But Twain goes on the board first with, a, with an early run. After one, one zero Triton. Just to set the Triton defense, we have Emma Penniman on the mound, the freshman. Playing first base is Skylar Colburn, who's a sophomore. Maddie Jakes at second base, the captain, the senior. And then we got uh, Kyler Story at shortstop, Grace Romine at third base, Haley Harris, catcher. And then we've got uh, Mallory Johnson in right field, who's uh, also one of our pitchers. Izzy Aldani in center field, and Reagan Haley in left field. For the other team? Yeah. If you want the name. I think he sent it to you. Yes, sir. Yeah, send it to me. I think he already did, but I'll Sorry about that. Just getting the uh, trying to get some information on the North Reading players. Now hitting is uh what do we, Brian, who do we have hitting for North Reading? Galvin. Yeah, Galvin? Yeah, Galvin. Gallon. Kristen Gallon? She actually plays uh, tournament ball with uh, Haley for RES Angels in the summer. We're top of the second. One other one zero Triton. So Emma typically throws strikes, doesn't walk very many batters, knows how to battle, does have a curveball, but her, her fastball tends to have movement, natural movement. A foul ball off to the right side there, kind of a late swing, so... Triton pretty solid on the defense. Uh, they won't make a lot of errors. Another foul ball. They keep making the, the fundamental plays, which you got to make. Probably the biggest thing that's hurt the team in terms of some of their some of the losses has been just some walks. Early early in walks. There's a fly ball. Just diving. A nice try by Maddie Jakes, who dove for the ball on a foul ball flared on the first base line. Dove for the ball, but the ball play was out of bounds, so runner can't advance to first base. But two strikes. Misses a little side, high and away. 
Three two is a count. Again, we're in the top of the second. And that's a great pitch. Great pitch. Kind of fro froze the uh, batter. Got the inside corner for the first out. We got one down, and now batting for uh, North Redding, we have trying to get the uh, player's name here. There's a foul ball right out of the one strike. Looks like the last name of the batter is Shoots. Can't really read the handwriting from the coach, so I apologize for that, but she's this girl is also the first baseman. We got one down, top of the second. Base is empty. Another good pitch. Sort of like a, almost looked like a rising fastball there. Could be just a natural movement she has on her pitches. And beautiful day here. Finally, upper 70s for softball. That one's in the dirt. And there's a flare in the left center. Izzy Aldani got a great beat on the ball and made a nice catch sort of in a shallow left center. Played, a, played it well. Two outs. I think the wind helped that carry to Izzy. So we got two outs and uh, trying to figure out here who's actually hitting for North Reading. Looks like the last name is Hammond, and there's a flare out to right field. And Mallory Johnson makes the uh, out on the fly ball. Ma Mallory's super solid in um, right field, made some great plays the last game. Uh, last home game, which was against Bishop Fenwick in right field. So going to the bottom of the second with the Triton with a 1 0 lead. And came up to hit, we have. Well, I'll check that in just a second. We have Sky Colburn, Reagan Haley, and then Grace Romine. And then from there, top of the order. Interesting. What, what's interesting right now is that for the pitcher, the sun's actually right in her eyes. The way this field is at this time of night, time of night, late afternoon, the sun is directly uh, behind home plate, staring right at the pitcher's eyes. So probably makes it a little bit cha a little challenging. So now we've got Sky Colburn coming up to bat, and Sky's had a very very uh, good season, very consistent hitting. 333, got eight runs batted in, a lot of walks, eight, so she's got a great eye, doesn't strike out much. This guy uh, playing, playing, playing first base today, and um, she's uh, come up with the lead off the second. And takes a strike. Good pitch on the inside part of the plate. And there's a little flare, and shortstop takes care of that. Looks like she may have hit that one off the end of the end of the bat. Just missed it. So we got one down, and now we have Reagan Haley, a junior. Reagan plays left field. Reagan's hitting 262, although she's got a lot of runs. 
10 runs, gets on base quite a bit. He's got 12 walks, runs hard, and has forced some errors by opposing teams because she's getting down the line fast. They'll rush a throw. And uh, even though she may not get a hit, she's getting on base, which is, as we know, can't score unless you're on base or hit a home run. So we got one down. Almost hit her in the dirt. Again, top of the second, uh, excuse me, bottom of the second. Tough pitch. She goes down swinging. That was right. Looked like it was uh, going to be on the uh, outer half of the plate. Just kind of tailed away. And with this pitcher's velocity, you got to commit early. And at that point, it's going to be tough to catch up to that. So two down. Grace Romine. Nope. Grace is a... Uh, a junior having a real solid season, hitting 439. Uh, scored lots of runs, 13, three stolen bases, four doubles, eight runs batted in. Very productive when she gets on the base. Great eye at the plate. Tough pitch. She held off, but. That was that was a give me a tough one to catch up. High fastball. Now she's got a bat. She's got two strikes. Inside pitch. So the North Reading pitchers were going to be one of the better pitchers that we're going to see this season for Triton. It's the second time seeing her. Oh, tough pitch. Looked like that was a little bit outside, but uh, rang her up. So that's three down. And now we go to the top of the third. Fast moving game. So again, just to uh, give you a little recap, this is North Reading versus Triton Lady Vikes. Cape Ann League, Triton, Having a very solid season this year. Triton's 10 and 4 overall, overall, 7 and 1 in the league. North Reading 9 and 4 overall, 8 and 1 in the league. Um, North Reading's only loss came to Amesbury, who's a powerhouse, and Triton has yet to play Amesbury. And um, Triton's only loss in the league came to North Reading, so this is a big game for Triton in terms of standings in the Kinney division of the league. And again, my name is Tim Harris. I'm part of the Triton Softball Boosters Club. And uh, got a great day to uh, watch some softball. Best day of the year so far for, uh, for the weather, for the games. So again, here we are, top of three. Emma Penniman on the mound. Again, a freshman. Start some of the games. Mallory Johnson typically does most of the starts. Emma's got great control. Throws, doesn't walk many batters. Has good velocity. Good movement on her pitch. Pitches. And uh, I think her earn run average is right around five, which is pretty, pretty solid for uh, High school softball. So one ball, two strikes here. Top of three. And great pitch. Once again, that pitch had some movement. It's coming in over the plate, kind of tailed away the outside, almost almost uh, a ball. But again, batter's got to commit early with this, with this velocity. One down. Just try to, try to find out what part of the lineup this is. Like you can, Harry, like you can, Harry. What, 
Try to find, find out what batter this is for North Reading. Now there's a shot right center. But Mallory Johnson got a great read in the ball. Two steps back. Hauls it in for the second out. That was a lead up. So we got the second batter of the, in the lineup for North Reading. Again, two outs here. Top of three. There's a line shot just over Maddie Jakes' head. Mally quickly to get it. Nice, nice hit. Just out of her reach. Solid hit, the right center. Got two down. Got the three hitter for uh, North Reading. I'll get you the name in just a moment here. Batozzi is the batter. And there's a ground ball. Slow ground ball. Kyle Story usually gobbles those up, but I think uh, with the speed of that runner going down first base line, charged the ball, just couldn't quite get it. It's going to be a tough play anyways with that runner's speed, but we got runners at first and second. Still got two down. Hopefully we get this batter here. So again, top third, that runners at first and second. We get two outs, and uh, I believe we have the cleanup hitter. There's a foul ball out of play. Certain as certain parts of the game where you really got a battle, and this is it right here. You know, Triton, Triton has that one nothing lead. Got two outs. Getting preventing two out runs. Key to getting these wins. That one's in the dirt. Nice block by Haley Harris, the catcher, keeping that in front. Keeping runners uh, where they are. Important here. There's a foul ball straight back. Again, two outs. Runners first and second, get the cleanup batter for North Reading. There's a ground ball. Kyla Story flips to second base. Fundamental play, he's got to make him, get him out of the inning. So no damage there. Going to the bottom of third, top of the order coming up for uh, Triton with a 1 0 lead here on senior night. And we have one senior on the Triton Vikings softball, and that's Maddie Jakes, who's also the captain. And uh, just enjoying this great weather. I want to thank Mr. Bob Lathrop, who's working the video cameras here. So hopefully uh, you guys are enjoying this, uh, this game. Although it's not going to be live. But uh, great weather here. Not to sound like a broken record, but it's uh, just nice to be playing softball when it's not in the low 50s and wearing winter jackets. So we're going to the top of the order. Uh, Maddie Jakes, as I mentioned, uh, senior for Triton, the captain, plays second base. Maddie, Maddie's played a lot of softball over her years. She's played tournament ball with uh, Rage out of uh, Salisbury. Um, and again, Leads the team and walks, hit hit by pitches. Kind of, kind of, we kind of loop them in there. But he's a good eye, plays hard. And last inning, uh, I'll get 
which she did last inning. Alaska, our scorekeeper, what Maddie did. I think she had it last time. What did uh, last inning, what did Maddie have first inning? Walk. There we go. Yep. So, again, great eye at the plate. No strike zone. Nice, nice cut on that. Fouls it right back off the catcher. Second time through for the lineup. So, hopefully, Triton Bats can catch up to the velocity. One of the things that's interesting for high school softball is one game you're seeing a pitcher that throws low 40s, and the next next game you're seeing mid upper 50s or higher. So it's a big adjustment sometimes for the first inning after seeing slow and then going to velocity. So they got to adjust in the stance, and there's a high tower and pop fly that's. Left fielder comes in and makes the catch. Couldn't quite see it because of the umpire. Dress missed that one. Just got under a little bit. But as we know, with the velocity of these pitchers, they square on the ball. It's going to go. So now we have Izzy Aldani, who had a nice solid hit to right center first time up. Izzy's a junior. Plays center field. Bottom three. And the bottom of third. One nothing Triton. One out. This is the number two hitter. And flares that one off the right side. Foul ball out of play. You may be able to hear the umpires. We're right behind home plate. One ball, two strikes. So he's got to protect. Anything close, he's got to go after. And just down, just fouled on the first base line. Good battle. That gets by the first base. That's an easy double, but just foul. So again, two strikes. One out. No runners on. Is he at the plate? Got two strikes. And she's battling. And there's a flare to second base. Actually, a nice play by the second baseman. That was right in her eyes with the way the sun is. So we got two two down. And now we've got uh, Kyla Story. Kyla had a nice hitter first time up over the left center. And there's a drive. That's carrying, carrying, carrying. And that's going to be a uh, stand-up double for Kyla. Great piece of hitting. Went with the pitch, right center. Two off the fence. Doing some damage now, hopefully, with, with uh, two outs. Kyla's a sophomore. Makes good day so far for her. Now two for two. Now Maddie Mallory Johnson, who's uh, going into the, today's game, was our top top hitter, and that is a wild pitch. It looked like it caught the umpire in the head. It did. So we may want to give the umpire a few minutes. Catch. You may want to talk to your pitcher. Give her. Give him a second. Tough pitch. Just. High pitch, I think it went off the catcher's mitt and then caught the back of the umpire's head. Thankless job. Oh, and our video guy almost took his head off walking into the net. <laughs> but. I'm just giving the umpire a bit to collect his senses on that one, back of the head. But I think he's all right. Come on, Mel, let's go, kid. Come on, one ball. Time to work. We got one ball. We got two outs. We got a runner at third on that wild pitch. So. Good eye, kid. Good 
We got two and all hitters count for Mallory. Takes a pitch. Didn't like it. This pitcher is typically around the plate, so if it looks good. You probably want to go after it. Wild pitch. That one came right at me. I flinched on that one. <laughs> that was coming with some heat. So we got. Uh, Three and one to count. And there's a ground ball. That's going to get through. Yes. Base hit. Great piece of hitting by Mallory Johnson. Shortstop was playing in, trying to prevent the run. And that was a little bit more towards the uh, second base side on the left side for the base hit to get through. Brings in a run. Train goes up 2 nothing now. So Mallory gets a. Base hit and run batted in. And now we get the freshman, Emma. Again, Emma Peniman leads the team in home runs with three. One game, she had two in one game. She's got good pop. And lately, her bat's been, uh, been getting hot. And there's a drive. That may go. That may go. It's a uh, oh, warning track right in front of the fence. Good drive. Just didn't quite get it. Looked like it was going, but the North Reading girl pulled that win right in front of the fence. Looked like uh, she had her um, position really well on that. Nice drive, though. So we go to the top of four. Top of four, trying to lead to nothing. And uh, last inning, Trent was able to get through kind of the heart of the order for uh, North Reading. So we'll see what they can do today, this inning. So Triton has already qualified for the state tournament after their last win, which is against Ipswich. That was a 13 to two win. Um, Wednesday at Ipswich. And again, we've got uh, to set the uh, defensive lineup. Emma Peniman on the mound. Haley Harris catching. Skyla Colburn first base. Maddie Jakes at second. Kyla Story at shortstop. Grace Romine at third base. Reagan Haley in left field. Izzy Aldani in center. Mallory Johnson in right field. And we're at the top of the fourth here. And I'm trying to get the batter for North Reading. Just bear with me for a moment there. That's a ball. Yeah. Took the last uh, the buddy is uh, Riley. There's a bunt down the third base line. Grace Romine. Nice play. Grace Romine throws a strike. It's a great play. Great play by Grace to get that runner. A little stretch by Skyler. Secure the ball. We got one down. Always great to get that first first out. And uh, now batting for is Kristen Galvin for North Reading. The third baseman.
Emma's got very good control. Hopefully she can battle out of this little hole right there. there you go. Toughest nails here. I don't think, has she checking on the stats? Has she walked the batter yet? No walks yet, so. Could use a good punch out right here. Great pitch. Batter just got a piece of it. Count. Oh, there's a line shot right. Hey, let's go. Nice hit. Kyla Story right where she needed to be. Played that, played that position very well. Two down. Two down on that line shot to shortstop. So two down. There's a flare. It's going hard to the right center. And Mallory Johnson played it, played it very well. Came in, a couple steps, made the catch. So, we're going to the bottom of the fourth. And it's 2 nothing Triton. My assistant who's keeping score today, Mr. Brian Story, man of few words. But doing a great job behind the book. So what's happening, every time the pitch hits the uh, backstop, our camera system here moves a little bit. And Mr. Lathrop here doing a great job. He's got several cameras. Hopefully uh, you get some different perspectives of this game. How about those legs? Are those on camera? And, and that comment was directed towards one of our coaches. So now leading off the bottom of the fourth, it's Haley Harris. Hey, Haley, said, Haley's our catcher. So nobody on. Haley takes a strike. Haley actually suffered a slight concussion first game against North Red and missed the... Uh, about three games, two or three games because of that. Battle back. She's in the hole right now, two strikes on her. Got two strikes on her. Takes a ball. Has been swinging a hot bat lately. Strike out her first time. Got two strikes, one and two the count. Nobody on. Good eye, kid. Good eye. That one looked like a umpire had it catching the outside of the plate with two two strikes. Rang, rang it up for the strikeout. Two outs. Now we've got uh, Sky Colburn. And there's a ground ball to second base and over to first for the out. So we got three quick outs. Two, two, two outs. I'm, my mistake. So now batting, we've got um, uh, Reagan Haley with two out. Hey, Nana. Two down. There's a ground ball, hit to uh, second base again, and a one, two, three inning. So no runs, no hits on that. And I believe we're going to the top of five. Well-pitched game, very few walks, few hits. It's gonna come down to uh, no walks by any either team, right? No, one, uh, try, I think North Reading's got a walk. One 
One walk, two nothing so far is the score. And again, a rapidly moving game, but both pitchers throw strikes. A lot of activity going on at the school today. They got games. So we got a lacrosse game going on. Junior, the junior class prom is tomorrow night. They got a great weekend for that. Temperature gonna be in the mid 80s tomorrow. So after a cold April, got some great weather here in May for the girls. Okay, here we go. Top of the five, top of fifth. And now batting the number 21 for North Reading. Takes a big cut at a fastball. Couldn't catch up to it. Tough pitch, just inside corner. Thought she caught it. And there's a flare. Second base in the sun. Oh, tough play. There you go. Time of day now where the sun is going to play a factor. As Maddie normally would have that ball, but that sun was right in her eyes. And tough to make that play. Drops in front of her, uh, in front of Mallory for a base hit. And, and the ball was in a dirt, nobody was covering second. On a stolen base, I'm not sure. No communication uh, the, between Kyla and Maddie, who was covering the bag, so Haley just held up. Get the run at one. There's, all right, so we got two down on the bunt there, sacrifice bunt. Runner at third base. We got one out. I'm sorry, yeah, one out. We got one out. That's why they did the, uh, obviously, the bunt to get the runner at third with less than two outs. There's a ground. That's going to be a, oh, nice stop by Kyla. Throws it in. Well, North Rain gets their first run. Kai made a, a nice play on a ball that was short hopper in the dirt. Fired over to Skyler, but runner was already down the line, and Sky made a nice stop on the on the ball. It was in the dirt. So North Rain's on the board with a run, and there's another bunt. Emma's going to get the gets the gets the runner at first as the pitcher, excuse me, the batter, laid on a bunt right to Emma, over to Skyler for the out, two down. And now, uh, so we've got two down, runner at second, two to one. Triton still holding the lead. And I'll get the, another. That's going to be interference right there. She's going to wait to get around towards the batter. Tough play right there. The batter was out of the box. Batter was out of the box, and the catcher went to make a throw. And couldn't because really should be interference on that play. The batter cannot step out of the box. Well, she can, but if she does, now this is a slow ground ball. Uh, there's nobody there. And that scores a run. Skyler made a nice stop. Maddie could go over to first base in time. Now it's 2 2 with two outs. But again, going back to the play at third base. Haley made the, took the pitch. It's going to throw down to third, but the batter was out of the box in her way. That is interference. Runner at third should have been out. Let's go, Mike. Here we go, ladies. No big deal, 
Now the batter can stay in the box, that's fine. But if she steps out of the box and the catcher's gonna make a throw, that's interference all day. There's a better base hit up the middle. So with two outs, we got runners at first and second. And Coach Noyes making a trip to the mound, try to settle down the, the girls. Get, again, two outs, two twos a score. We're in the top of top of the fifth. Well, it's an interesting play. I'm not sure how the uh, umpire didn't see that, but. We'll watch it on Triton TV. Going into this game, we knew it was going to be a battle to the to the top teams in the KPM League. And here it is, it's 2-2. Top of five, two outs. So let me try to get some clarification on that play down to third base, but to reset it here, we got two outs, runners on first and second. And now hitting for North Reading, it's number nine. And I'll get the name for you in a moment here. This is, uh, this is Riley, last name Riley. Their left fielder, she is, looks like the number five hitter or number six hitter. Yeah, she's the fifth hitter for North Reading. Two, two, two outs. And there's a fly ball pop up actually. Maddie Jakes has it under and makes the catch to get out of the inning. So the North Reading ties it up, 2-2. Two -two. And that brings us to the bottom of the fifth. Grace Todd. So we got Grace Romine, and then we get the top of the order. Try and be working to get those runs back. So we're going bottom five here. We got Grace Romine. It's always great, always good to have a ninth hitter that's hitting over 400. So that's what we got with Grace. Hey Grace, on the line, kid, come on. You got this one thing. Start it off, they need you right now. Start it off big. Hot single, 16, come on, hot single, find right to the hole. And there's a foul ball off the side. So North Reading pitcher, always around the plate, doesn't walk me, good velocity. Oh, and that one looked like he jammed it off her fingers. And pitcher for... Uh, North Bay makes a nice play to get the Grace at first base. I wouldn't say off her fingers, but very close to her fingers, probably on the handle on that one, because it's like a check swing bunt almost. To the top of the order, Maddie Jakes up, takes a ball. And uh, Maddie has a walk, and what else did she do?
There we go. Maddie looking for her first set. A walk, fly it out to left. Ahead in the count here. Hey, make it work, one side, make it work. Again, we're in the bottom of the fifth inning, 2-2. Two -two. Big game for both North Reading and Triton here. With the win, Triton will actually be in first place in the Kinney Division of Cape Ann. Oh, and she drops it. Little fly ball. And that could have been a sun issue as a second baseman on that little flare couldn't handle it. Either that or a lot of spin, but just goes to show you, you hustle down the line. Maddie Jakes was close play at first because she was hustling. She's on there. We got one out and run on first for Izzy Aldani. And there's a wild pitch, and next thing you know, Maddie is suddenly in scoring position here. Takes a wide turn, nothing to go. Nowhere to go. One down. Bottom fifth. 2-2. Two -two. Maddie Jakes on second base. Is the Aldani, if she can get it to the right side, hope to get that runner to third somehow. We've got Kyla Story on deck. Kyla's having a real good game so far, two for two. Izzy got a uh, one for two with a line signal her first time up. And that's a thousand back. And there's a wild pitch down in the middle. And Maddie's safe in the third with one down. Catch had a tough time making a play on that pitch. Looked like it was down and away. Kind of popped out of her glove. Maddie being alert. Smart base running. Gets to third. So we got third one out. Got a full count now. Izzy's worked hard to get that count to full. 3-2. Not helping out the pitcher. See what she does here. And there's a base hit up the middle for another run. Izzy takes the pitch, drives it in there. Triton takes the lead with her second hit of the game. It's three to two. Kyle okay, Story coming to the plate now. Two for two. And there goes the runner. Izzy Aldani with stolen base standing up. Didn't really have a chance on that either to throw her out. So from what I see, Triton should be running on this catcher. Not, not a particularly strong arm. But we got another runner in scoring position. Kyle at the plate. One down, Mallory on deck. Base hit will score a run. And there's a high fly ball. Tail and foul, and it drops foul. Right by the, by the fence. The ball was spinning, which kept drifting to the Third base line gives Kyla another opportunity here to knock in a run. Two strikes here, big pitch here. That was another tough pitch off. This is what you do, you got a battle here. Got a battle. What I was saying before, the winner of this game has sole position of first place in the Kinney Division of the Cape Ann League. Inside pitch, wild pitch. Izzy Aldani takes third base. In scoring position again now. Trying with a 3-2 lead here in the bottom of the fifth. North Rain beat Triton the first time, so they're... Uh, there's a foul ball. Have to check though on the standings if Triton 
does get the win because it'd be the same record as North Reading. Well, actually, um, for the Kinney division at least, probably be a tie. Another foul block. Kyler, Kyler Story battling tough here. A lot of tough pitches. She's fouling them off, making the pitcher work. Two strikes. There's another foul ball. This is what good hitters do. They just work, keep work, work the count, foul off tough pitches so they get one they can drive. That's exactly what Kyla's doing here. Runner at third. Anything on the right side should score a run. Anything in the outfield should score a run. And there's a... And there's a... Izzy comes in. Misplayed by the catcher. So... Kai hit the ball hard to third base. Third base decided to make a play at home. Throw was a little off. Catcher couldn't quite handle it. So now we get the run. No outs. Kyle goes to second base. And now we got Mallory at the plate. One down. Runner at second. Good chance for trying to put up a big number this inning. That's two this inning so far. Let me check with my scorekeeper, my official scorekeeper. Two runs so far. Yep. So we're 4 2. Runner on second. That's Kyla's story. One down. Again, we're in the uh, bottom of the fifth. Mallory at the plate. Tough pitch. And on the hands, that ball rode in on the hands. She was able to foul it off and go up for another pitch. And on deck, we have Emma Penniman, Haley Harris in the hole, one down. Good job, Mallory, staying off that pitch. That pitch looked like it was going to be over the plate, and then it drifted outside. Sun playing some. Sun's actually being challenging for the infielders right now. As Triton benefited from that kind of little pop flare to second base, which second baseman couldn't handle it. Either his ball was spinning or in the sun. And there's a line drive base hit by Mallory Johnson. That should be a double as she comes in. Stand up double. Kyla comes in to score, another run. Mallory Johnson took a fastball, just ripped it in the left center. And we've got three runs in. Mallory standing at second. Emma Penniman coming up to bat, and only one down. So we got another runner in scoring position. So again, we're here. We are in the uh, we're in the bottom of the fifth. Triton's got three runs in. Five to two, Triton. Mallory Johnson just ripped the double to uh, left center on second. Emma Pen Penniman, the freshman, up and just whips a foul. That's going hard, hard right foul out of play. Emma's up here with one strike. Oh, right fastball came in on our hands. One out. There's a ground ball. Foul ball. Actually, it was uh, good for Emma that that was a foul ball because that would have been uh, easy to play by the first baseman. Again, Mallory Johnson on second base. We got one out. 
Three runs in so far. And it's a ground ball, left side. And now reads it well, gets the third base. And now hitting uh, now hitting Haley Harris. So we got runner on third, two outs. Haley Harris stepping to plate. She's due for a hit. Runner on third, two outs. In, in the dirt. Haley's the catcher. Mountain on third, two outs. Haley takes a strike over the outside corner. One on one, the count. Us guys don't get that often, so we gotta. Oh. Good eye, good eye. Way to work it, Good hold on that one. That one looked like it was gonna be able to play. Kind of drifted outside, two and one. Could use another run here. Inside pitch, misses. Hitters count now, two and one. Two and one. Actually, take that, check that. Three and one. She gets one where she likes it. Drive it. Three and one the count. Fouls it off. Hey, new Keep your head in there. Keep your head in there. Three, two. Three, two. There's a foul play. Right Thanks for the heads up. Terrible effort. Well, I got the I got the fans here telling me to make a play, but I can't make a play when it hits the backstop. So, all right, three two the count, reset here, two outs, runner on third, and there's ball four, wild pitch, good hold. So Haley takes a walk, and we're gonna have a pinch runner for Haley. Coach Noyce typically has. Uh, our catchers, uh, when they get on the base, we have a uh, we have another runner for, her, and this looks like it's um, some Maddie Jakes, a, Ma a Maddie January running. Let me check with the scorekeeper, here. Brian. Is that Maddie January running for? Her? Yes, sir. Okay, so we got runners at the corner, two out. Sky Colburn, there's a wild pitch, and that's going to score a run. Mallory comes in. That's the fourth run of the inning. And now we got another runner in scoring position. Maddie January on second base. Sky Colburn at the plate. That one's in the dirt. There's another wild pitch. And Maddie takes third base. So with one down, we got a runner at third. Anything hit on the right side should score another run. There's another wild pitch in the dirt. So no threading pitcher having some challenges right now. I'm not sure if the heat first day again. Throwing a lot of pitches. And there's a ground ball. Field is short. And that run will not score as that was there were two outs at the time as Sky put the ball in play. But good inning for Triton. I believe they got four across the plate. So the score is 6-2, Triton as we go to the top of six. Take a quick break here, we'll be right back.
And Haley makes the play. Pop foul ball. Spinning ball. Good fundamentals right there, Haley Harris. She was in two hands as that ball is spinning when it hits her glove. So we got one down here in the top of the six. After big inning by Triton to take a lead, it is five to two. Or six to two, excuse me, six to two. There's a ground ball to Emma. And there's an out. So we got two down on the top of the six, and it's almost like North Reading appears to be pressing a little bit, going after the first pitch, trying to make something happen. We got so we got two down, top of the six in in here on a Friday night. Beautiful, beautiful weather for softball. Emma with some nice movement on that pitch. Ball's off at Haley's mid. That was a high pitch, but no damage as there's nobody on base. So we got two down. Little low. Two and one to count here. Okay, 3-1. One thing we don't want to do is put runners on with walks. Make him hit it, make him play. And there's a nice pitch by Emma. Got to like Emma's ability to battle back as a freshman. Throw strikes with great, great movement. 3-2 to count. And there's a little flare pop up. Emma makes the play. And that's three. Triangle takes them one, two, three as we go to the bottom of the six. What? Bottom six. I think the first game, uh, we have some folks asking what the score of the first game was, North Reading. I think it was six to nothing, uh, North Reading. And I'm getting, I'm getting a head shake saying it wasn't. So maybe it was like 8 2. Okay. Six run difference, though. At least I got that part right. We were trying to figure that out. And it's. Uh, well, that's going to depend upon how Triton does uh, against Amesbury. But right now, Triton is three outs away from getting a W. So, just got confirmation that the first game was nine to three with North Reading. Here in this game, it's six to two. So. Triton could use a few more runs in the bottom of the six here. As it could come into play for the playoff seedings and standings in the league. So we've got uh, Reagan Haley leading off, all by Grace Romine, bottom six. Oh. 
Reagan takes a strike. Good pitch, tough pitch to hit. Kind of a high fastball on the outside part of the plate. And it's a base hit. Up the middle. Nice line drive by Reagan as the shortstop made kind of a dive for the ball, but the ball was hit too hard. Kind of spun off her glove, and Reagan's on first base with a base hit. Good way to lead off the lead off the inning. As we've got Grace Romine hitting. And then top of the order. Okay, Grace, Grace Romine at plate. Being selective. And check swing foul. And you can hear the umpire, it's uh, two balls, one strike. Bottom of six, runner on first, no outs. Foul straight back by Grace, just missed it. And foul ball, playing havoc with our cameras. Grace takes a big cut and Strikes out. Now we got Maddie Jakes up. Top of the order. Got one down. Run on first. Not you, one five. Let's go, kid. Come on. Maddie Jakes, our lone senior for Triton. On um, senior night. Let's see what Maddie does here. Big cut. Reagan dies back to first. That's one thing Reagan Haley always makes uh, makes the opposite team work. Gets a good good lead, forcing a throw. Had to be a good throw. So, runner on first, one out. Reagan takes a steal as they uh, threw down to first. Not sure what North Reading was thinking there, because now you've got uh, runner in scoring position. It wasn't a uh, drop third strike as there was a runner on first. So looked like North Reading made a throw down the first and Reagan Haley took off for second. Good base running. We've got uh, two outs. Izzy Aldani has had a good day at the plate with two hits. Tough one to catch up on a high fastball there. Be great if, uh, if, if Izzy could find a way to get another uh, another run across the board. There's a pop fly going straight back. No car damage on that one. Keep battling, kid. Getting two outs, runner in second. And there's a little pop flare. Second baseman having a little trouble and makes the catch. Looked like she was really bad on the sun, even with the sunglasses, but here we go. There we got, the, that's uh, three outs for the uh, end of six. So we go to top of seven here as we, here we go. Top of seven, trying three, three outs away from getting a big win.
Yeah. Ryan, why are you crawling on the ground? I don't want to get the trip wire. <laughs> got our official scorekeeper looking for another scorebook in here, and I oh, I actually have it right here. I think we're we're doing some math here, trying to figure out if Trenton can get the W where this where the standings would be based on scores of games. So. This would be a good test for Triton. Play to win. So a quick reset. We're in the top of the set. Oh, excuse me. Bottom of the six. I'm excuse me. Top of the seventh. I got it all messed up. Top of the seventh here. Triton with a 5-2 lead. After North Reading got two runs, excuse me, 6-2, 6-2. Mr. Lathrop just uh, corrected me, 6-2. So three outs away from a win, and there's a foul ball setting the, uh, setting the defense. Emma Penniman on the mound has been brilliant today, the freshman against a tough North Reading team. Haley Harris behind the plate, catching Skyla. Colburn at first base, swing and a miss. Two strikes. Maddie Jakes at second. Kyla Story at short. Grace Romine at third. Reagan Haley left. Izzy Aldani center field. And Mallory Johnson in right. And she... She's out. Tried to hold her swing. Check swing. Up peeled. Went down to first base. Said she went. And that's the strikeout. So we got one out. Top of seventh. I'm on the mound, and uh, let me just uh, check the uh, batter for North Reading in the in the order. Foul ball, Brian. Do you have the uh, uh, batter for this uh, North Reading? What? Okay, so we got a top of the order, so trying to close this one out is going to have to go through the top of the order with one out, one out. In the dirt. Trying to have a tough schedule. They played a lot of bigger... Out of division school. So there's a ground ball up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. So North Redding stays alive. Uh, Emma really had no shot at that one as that was a line drive back at her feet. Nothing she could do with that. Finds a hole. So we got a runner at first with one out. And there's another base hit. Maddie Jakes can't make it. That might be a gapper. That's good. That's right, base hit in the right center. So if we're trying to get this win, they're going to have to go through the, the heart of the order. Smart play by Mallory Johnson. Not throwing to third. Just get it to the cutoff of Maddie. Because the run on third run means nothing right now as it's 6-2. to two. Keep the force in line. The runner on first with one out. Coach Noy is calling out a play, defensively play. And I think he had a play in mind, but that ball was in the dirt. Haley made a nice stop to keep it in front. He was not going to be able to throw the runner out on that play. So we got runners at second and third. And there's a fly ball to left center. Reagan coming in. Makes the catch. Comes in hard. We got two down now. Top of the seventh. Left center Reagan. Pop fly. Makes the catch. Coming in on that one. Nice thing about left field right now. The sun is not in the left fielder's eyes. We got two down. And there's a drive. That's going to be in for a base hit. 
And that's going to score two runs. So that makes the score six to four. A little interest in here is that ball just found the hole in right center. Izzy had no chance to get that. And Mallory was playing kind of down the line, preventing, preventing double. So, that's, so we got runner in first, six four. Tying run at the plate. And there's a pop fly, and that's out of play. And this is batter number nine, which is in the lineup. This is the fourth hitter. Fourth hitter. Fifth hitter. Correct me. Fifth hitter. My uh, statistician. And. So we get, we get two out, run around first, two strikes. Pitchers count here. See what they set up. And there's a foul ball. North Rain making this interesting though right now as we get the runner on first. Pitchers count, 0-2, oh, 6-4 to score, top seven. And that's the game! Emma Penniman throws an inside fastball. North Reading can't keep up with it. And that's the game. Great win for, for Triton over North Reading today. 6-4. Great game all around by both teams. And Triton takes the win as a, on senior night here. And our lone senior, senior is Maddie Jakes. Be a little presentation for Maddie coming up. A few, uh, few minutes for uh, coach to go over with the players and then we'll have senior night. And we're gonna sign off now. Thank you all for watching.